you're welcome back to my channel welcome to the sewing tutorial video of this corset top in case you've not seen the pattern drafting the link will be in the comment section so go ahead and watch that video before you come join us on this particular video It's going to help you understand better so after drafting out my pattern i went ahead to place my pattern on my fabric on my lining and on my sd and i went ahead to add half an inch allowance all the way around my fabric so let's go ahead and join our fabric together so we are going to start with the cups so i have number one which is my center front and number two which is my side front for the number one i have two pieces for the main fabric two pieces for the lining and i have two pieces of my sd i'm going to go ahead and label my fabric number one so that i will not get confused then i'm going to open my fabric up like this on the wrong side and i'm going to place my lining piece on it so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and place my sd on the wrong side of my fabric and i'm going to go ahead and iron so make sure you place the raw the rough side of your sd on your fabric and then go ahead and use your hot iron on it it's going to make the sd stick to your fabric and it's going to strengthen your fabric so after doing that i'll go ahead and pin the two lining piece together because i don't want to mix anything up and i'm going to drop the lining piece aside after doing that i'll put my fabrics together and then i'll just pin my pattern paper on it just so i know that this is number one after ironing then i'm going to go ahead and bring in my number two and i'll repeat the same thing that i did for number one i'm going to open my fabric up i have two main piece two lining piece and two sd so i'm going to open them up like this and i'm going to place my sd on the wrong side of my fabric so guys for my um, main bodies i'm going to remove my pattern paper and make sure that your center front is on fold so i have my main fabric i have my lining piece i also have my sd so i'm going to go ahead and drop the lining aside and i'll open the main piece on the wrong side then i'm going to place my sd on the wrong side of my fabric i'll pin all the way around and then i'll go ahead and iron okay once i iron this sd is going to stick to my fabric after doing that i'm going to go ahead and bring in my back piece i'll also remove my pattern paper and i'll open the fabric up on the wrong side i have two back piece okay and two lining piece for the back i also go ahead and place my sd on the wrong side of the back piece i'll pin all the way around and then i'll go ahead and iron all this fabric so guys i've gone ahead to iron sd to my fabric and this is what i have i have my two back piece i also have my main bodies and i have my two cups so we're going to go ahead and join the cups first before we join the main bodies so i'm going to go ahead and remove my pattern papers and i'm going to join my cups together so remember cup one is center is the center front and the second cup cup number two is the side front so i'm going to join the center front and the side front together so i'll take one um cup from number one and i'll take the other one from number two so make sure you notch go ahead and notch your center front so you know which of the cups which area of the cups you'll be joining together so i'll go ahead and pin number one and number two together after pinning i'll go ahead and use my half an inch allowance to sew all the way i'm also going to join the second cups together so guys for the cups i don't have a ready-made cup so i want to cut my own cup using um a strong wording a very very strong wording this is the first time i'm trying this out with a strong wording so i'm going to place my pattern paper on this wording and i'm going to cut out 
the wording exactly as it is on the pattern paper well, i'm going to add half an inch allowance to the center front of the cups because i'll be sewing the two cups together i need allowance to do that so i'm going to go ahead and cut and add my allowance on the center front so if you have a ready-made cup if you are using a ready-made cup go ahead and cover it up just like i taught you guys in the previous tutorial in case you don't know how to cover your cup your ready-made bra cup i'm going to leave a link in the comment section so watch that video to know how to cover your cup i went ahead to label my cup one center front two side fronts i'm going to place the cup on each other just like you see me doing and then i'll pin after pinning i'll go ahead and sew on a straight line okay then i'll cut out the other cup also after sewing guys this is what i have i went ahead to label the cups so that i know which of the cups goes where i don't want to join um two different cups together and then it comes out looking flat so these are my cups after sewing i went ahead to iron the seam allowance open so i'm going to fix my cup inside my fabric just like you see me doing so number one should match number one which is the center front and number two should match number two which is the side front so this is what i have i'm going to iron my cup inside my fabric but before i do that i'll be needing stitching allowance on the upper part of my cup because i'll be attaching my lining to the cup so i'll go ahead and trim the upper part of this cup to enable me join my lining to my fabric and on the sides i also trim at least half an inch or quarter inch from the cup to enable me join my lining to the main fabric after trimming my cup i'm going to go ahead and bring my hemming gum and my tailor's arm so i'm going to place my cup on the tailor's arm like this and then i'll remove my main fabric so on the shiny part of my bra cup i'm going to place my hemming gum so you can take as much hemming gum as you want and you're going to place it on your cup just like you see me doing and then i'm going to cover it up using my main fabric and i'll use my hot iron to melt the hemming gum on the cup and on my main fabric after doing this you see that the cup will stick to your fabric so guys i'm done doing that and this is what i have this is what the cup looks like I'll go ahead and repeat the same thing for the other cup. So guys, I've also gone ahead to iron the second cup in place and this is what I have. Next thing I'm going to do is to bring back my main bodies. I went ahead to fold my fabric in form of a bias. I cut out 1.5 inches and I folded in half an inch on both sides. So I'm going to place it to create my boning casing. I'll place one on the center and two underneath the bra cup area and I'm going to run two straight stitches on each of the fabric after doing that guys this is what i have and this is what it looks like on the outside so the next thing i'll do is to bring in my net so my net is one yard i went ahead to divide the one yard by two so i'll be using half half inch for each of the bra cup area okay so the length of this net is 32 inches I'll go ahead and pleat the base of the net just like you see me doing and then I'll pleat the other one. I'll bring back my main bodies and I'll go ahead and gather the net on the bra cup area. So make sure when you are gathering, you are gathering half an inch away from where you are going to sew your cup on the center front and also on the side front. So you can gather, you can pleat, it depends on how you want it just gather it all the way around so remember we left half an inch on our fabric so we can use it to attach our lining to the main fabric so i'm going to use my chalk to indicate the half an inch all the way around this bra cup i'll do that for the cup area for the side front and for the center front so guys after marking the half an inch all around the bra cup area i'm going to go ahead and bring in my cups 
so i'm going to place my cup like this making sure that number one is on the side front area so if you like you can go ahead and pin your cup all the way around before you sew and if you like you can just go to your sewing machine and just sew direct so that's what i'm going to do i'm gonna have to sew my cup and this is what it looks like you can see the half an inch on the center front and on the side front that is what i'll be using to join my lining to my main bodies so this is what the net looks like on the cup so just gather your net all the way around your cup but make sure it does not extend to the half an inch on the center front after doing that i'm going to bring my two back piece and i'm going to pin them right sides facing each other to the front piece and i'll use my stitching allowance to join so i left one and half inches stitching allowance so i'll be using the stitching allowance to join the front and the back together so guys i've gone ahead to join the back and the front piece together and this is what i have so what i'm going to do next is to sew my lining the same way that i sewed my main fabric everything that i did on the main fabric i went ahead to repeat the same thing on the lining and this is my lining piece i'm going to place the lining piece on the main fabric right sides facing each other and then i'm going to pin the upper area that is the chest area the arm o i'm going to pin everything from the beginning to the end i'll join them together and i'll go ahead and sew on a straight line so guys after sewing i went ahead to turn it inside out and this is what i have you can see that the lining is still showing on the um right side of this fabric so i'm going to open the allowance just like you see me doing and i'm going to top stitch towards the lining so if you don't want to do this you can just place your hemming gum towards the lining and then you iron it down i'll just top stitch towards the lining so the next thing I'll do is to pass my boning through the boning casing that I already created. So make sure the channel is wide enough for your boning to pass through and make sure your boning is half an inch or one inch shorter than the boning casing because you're still going to um, join your fabric with your lining together and you cannot sew on the boning except you are using a sewable boning. I've gone ahead to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is to turn my fabric to the right side and then I'm going to cover it up like this this so i'll pin all the way around and i'll go ahead and sew the base of this top okay so i'll sew from the beginning to the end the only place i'm not going to sew is my zipper allowance because i'll be using the zipper allowance area to turn my top inside out so guys i've gone ahead to sew the base in place and i went ahead to turn my top inside out what i'll do now is to sew my zipper in place so i'm going to arrange my back piece as you see me doing and then i'm going to go ahead and use my zipper allowance of one inch to sew my zipper in place so guys i've gone ahead to fix my zipper and this is what it looks like so the last step is for me to um sew my net to the back part of this top so to do that you're going to measure from your under bust that is where the cup started to meet the back that is where you want the um, net to stop okay so go ahead and wear your top once you wear it place your tape on your under bust and take it to the back where the um, back neckline started from so i went ahead to measure mine and what i add plus stitching allowance is 22 inches so i'm going to open up my net like this i'll straighten the net and then i'll go ahead and mark 22 inches and i'll cut out the excess net i'll do this for this side of the net and i'll repeat the same thing for the other side of the net so make sure you take your measurement before you trim your net i'm sewing the net on the outside because i want it to be adjustable but if you don't want to sew your net on the outside you can sew it on the inside before you join your lining to the main fabric for the back 
make sure you pin your net inside the lining i'll go ahead and crisscross the um net so the net on the right bra cup is going towards the left hand and the net on the left hand bra cup is going towards the right i don't know if you understand but i just switched the net from um the left hand to the right side and from the right side to the left side so i'll go ahead and um, gather the base of the net that is the remaining part of the net and i'm going to just gather it on the back like this i also gather the other base of the net on the back just like you see me doing after doing that i'll go ahead and use my pin to hold it down and then i'll take it to my sewing machine and i'm just going to sew on a straight line after doing that guys this is what i have i'll go ahead and open the inside up for you guys to see so i'll not be trimming the net in case i'll need to adjust so yeah that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you are not a subscriber leave your questions in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one